People will say to me that I'm crazy because I'm filming while I catch the flu the second time. Or maybe it is a relapse. Or maybe it is something else. I don't know. But I just suddenly got the feel that life is too short. And most of you guys spend your life thinking so much about oh what does this person will think of me what will my parents think of me you stress yourself out too much in regards to the relationship with other people but you know what and tell me that this is not real if you'll ever fall sick if you'll ever fall sick if you will be tomorrow in the hospital bed or if you will suddenly develop a terminal illness who the fuck will care about you and i'm don't say this in a rude way i say this in a way to help you wake up to the fact that some people are just a-holes and you can't just be a people pleaser forever you can't Even if you're not a people pleaser, sometimes people will overstep your boundaries in any ways. Especially if you are an empath. You overextend yourself too much for people. I mean, if you clicked on this video, you overextend yourself too much. And if you will die tomorrow, no one will care. Except me, if I will ever hear, like, gosh, one of the people that watch me or one of the people that ever interacted with me died and things like that because I cared even when an acquaintance committed suicide even if I I've met her just once and it was just like hello how hello hello like it was it was almost nothing and I felt so bad about her death and I still feel I won't get into that too much but The point of this video is for you to just reflect upon all your relationships in your life. Doesn't matter if they're family members, if you've been friends with them for uh, five, seven years. Doesn't matter if you've been partners or whatever. If someone has been toxic to you just once, chances are they will do it again. And chances are you will forgive them again because you're a good person. That's what nice people do. I used to do that so many times in my life. And I still feel like I'm overextending myself for family members, especially my mother. I still feel that whatever I do, it will never be enough. So I choose to do things just for myself. It's not like I got on the other side of the spectrum because empathy and narcissism are on a spectrum. And I didn't get on the other side of the spectrum. I just moved to the middle because the middle is the best. Our, ego, our egos are still needed. We can't eliminate our egos completely because otherwise we would be dead. We can just tame our ego that we don't become like our abuser. But you can't continue this way. This is your sign to choose yourself and choose your dreams. No matter how big or unrealistic they feel, even if you fail. I myself failed multiple times but had to get up. And sometimes, you no, know, the plan may not be really good. You may need to fail in order to twist some things to your plan. You need to have a blueprint of how you will achieve your dream, like a whole strategy, such as the strategy that I have, for example, for my faceless motion graphics account, which is also for affiliate marketing and stuff like that. Like I have a whole marketing blueprint that I created myself after I gained so much information. And for my mental health as well, after being seven years on this healing journey because i suffer from complex post-traumatic stress disorder i also struggle with moderate ocd which sometimes I think is just a normal reaction to medical gaslighting and shit like that but there will always be some pathologizing so i've created my own blueprint of what works for my healing journey and I still have things to explore and but for me for example I know that somatic therapy works CBT therapy won't do shit I know that P 
pills work for my chronic disease just temporary like I feel like I need them sometimes but other times no other times I know that they're just masking a core wound that I have and when the symptoms are gone it's like I suddenly forgo- forget that and it's like everyone around me suddenly forgets that I am mentally ill and I admit that but I am physically ill as well. They still want me to mold into this idealized version that they have of me in their head. They want me to have their hobbies, their um, their personality, to behave like them, to think like them. It's like I'm some sort of puppet. I'm sure you don't want that. You're not a puppet. You're a human being with emotions and people should respect that. Work on your self-esteem, work on your inner child, work on your inner teen, work on your relationship with your past selves. This is the key. You don't need to forget or forgive. You don't need to forgive anyone from your past. All you need is to forget yourself. Forget yourself for enabling that. Forget yourself for letting people step on your throat. It's weird for me that I'm doing this message in the state that I am. But honestly, I liked the lighting and I felt the need for like something more channeled, not so... something more spontaneous that maybe someone there will need this kind of message. Explore where your feeling of unworthiness came from. I just created a whole another video on confidence. I don't know which one of them I will post first, but just key things to remember from this. Life is too short. If something happens to you, no one will care. Or there will be some people that will care, but they will suddenly realize like, oh, I didn't appreciate them when they were alive. Just as it happens in general, because people are so invalidating and just so they're so quick to let others down why while they are already down and they're so quick to just hurt you. And another thing to remember from this video is that no matter how much you overextend for for others for a lot of people and i say a lot because it's for sure you'll never be enough but you have to be enough for yourself you have to be enough for that inner child who cried itself to to sleep for that inner teen who self-harmed or whatever toxic habit that you have in your teenage years or in your childhood, if you are a teenager and you're watching this, you're doing this for them. As I always say, you're doing this for them. You're doing this for your inner child, for your inner teen. Don't let someone, don't let no one make this little child feel insignificant. And like, this child shouldn't live on this earth. Never allow this. You are now the protector of your inner child, your inner teen, of your past versions of yourself. You have now the power to change your life trajectory. You have the power to change everything. And this is because right now we have the resource, resources like never before. With the internet and with YouTube and with platforms like Reddit where... You can find uh, communities of people with, who share the same struggles or things like that. You have more resources than ever. Don't ever for- forget that. Please do not ever... I can't even say it anymore. You got the message. I hope you're fine. I hope you're well. I'm sure that this message will reach the right audience. Thank you very much for watching.